love you, man. Was there anything surprising in this fight tonight with Drikas Duplessis? To be honest, uh, his toughness, I already knew it was. He was going to be tough and hard to put away, and I was cracking him, but yeah, I already knew he was going to be tough, so it wasn't a surprise. But I was quite strong in there. I felt strong, able to resist his takedowns. I just made a stupid, dumb mistake on the ground, and he adjusted well to the gable grip, and then got me. But I stand by what I said to my family. I will fight for you forever, I swear to God, no matter what. And again, I, I, didn't, I didn't do what I wanted to do uh, tonight. And yeah, I, I'm disappointed in myself, but at the same time, I'm proud. Because this is the best I've ever felt. This is the best I've ever looked. And I just had the better man on the night, and I'll give him respect for that. Izzy, you have fought 12 straight title fights. What's next for the style bender? Uh, I didn't think this far. I, was, <laughs> I didn't manifest this. <laughs> but um, look, I know everyone, you know, you guys love me. This is where I started my career in the UFC. This is where I made my dream. Right here in Perth. Um, but look, I'm 35. I'm doing the right things. And I know all you want to see me lose. You want to see me down. But watch this. I'm not even. I'm not even. Well, don't stay gone for a year again, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the last stop in the Israel Adesanya. Is Duplessis and still the champion of the world. How good does it feel to win this fight in this fashion and what this fight became? Wow, I, I mean, obviously, I always knew shit. If I'm in trouble fighting one of the, if not the, greatest strikers ever in this division, I need that takedown. Got the takedown. You know, at this level, it's hard to keep people down. This man is the king of getting back up. Nobody can take him down and keep him there. I got a few good ones, landed a few good punches, but ultimately I believe this fight was one on the feet. Like I said, I'm alive right now, that's just a bonus. I came in here to die for this belt, and I came here to take a, take a load. Luckily tonight we didn't have to do either of those things, but here I am, and still champion baby. Thank you Ben, this was the most amazing atmosphere I've ever fought in front. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody back home, like when you had a hard Drikas, let's take a look at your work here. You're right. You did some good things on the feet, but early in the fight, second round, you almost got to the rear naked choke. And then the fourth round, when you were able to get that takedown, you jumped on his neck right away. Did you see something in the build that lets you know that that might be a submission you could get? Absolutely. You know, that was only the beginning of our uh, sequence. That, uh, you know, obviously the takedowns, Coach Monet was uh, setting up the striking and the takedowns. And then this man here right, uh, right here, Neil Hazer, my grappling coach. With these two legends, a coach like Coach Monet puts everything together. The most brilliant mind in the sport. Fellow coach of the year right there. And accompanied by a grappling coach like this. We started that sequence. If he was to base up, I would have had the underhook in head control. Rolled him over, but it wasn't necessary. I had him in trouble on the feet. And as he, he fell down, I stayed calm. And when I got him, he fell down, I knew. You get the takedown and the defense won't be as strong as in the second round. Obviously, the man is a master at getting back up and not getting choked. And uh, we had to work a little bit harder, but ultimately, right here, right now, this was mostly a stand-up fight, and that's why I became victor. You spoke to Izzy for a while after the fight. What did you have to say to him? Because I have seen that this fight has always been rooted in respect at its core. Absolutely, for me. Now, to share this octagon with a legend, not potentially 100% Hall of Famer, this man has done so much for this sport. And uh, I'm really sorry that it came across that I disrespected the fact that he's from Africa and was never my intention. No, tonight, Africa would have won regardless. But tonight, South Africa was the victory. It was an honor for me to share this cage with a legend like that. I have the utmost respect for him, warrior to warrior. And, uh, at the end of the day, guys, believe me, I do not want to be kicked by that man again. Izzy, if you decide to retire tonight, thank you. You fought Sean Strickland in January. He seems to be the next guy. What do you want next when you step in the octagon as the champion? 
I want to hear and still. That's the only thing I care about. I don't care about the opponents. Well, congratulations on the massive performance. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for still now.